what is going on guys so I'm back with another trailer that we just got on the lot uh, fresh from the factory we actually are now a Flagstaff dealer so we're super excited to have this product it is for sure one of my favorite brands so I'm gonna go through this with you and kind of show you the different features and everything so the layout we'll be looking at today is the 8321 KRL this unit is 9400 pounds and you're looking at a length of 36 feet 8 inches from tip to back. This unit is the classic model, so you're going to get a ton of extra features on this than some of the other models. So for instance, on this one it looks like you're getting auto level. So this will auto level itself, those are not just stabilizers. We're gonna walk around this thing a little bit and I'll show you the different storages and components on the outside. This is some of the storage in the front. All your standard hookups, black tank flush, all that kind of stuff. That is your water heater. It's actually an eight gallon water heater. storage the hose that hooks up in the front this will come with the rack on the back it's great for your generator or anything like that and you do also get another receiver that will hold 300 pounds put a bike rack back there or whatever you need to haul it does have a fully walk-on roof so it's got the ladder this is a fully aluminum framed trailer so it's not just the side walls and then the, uh, the roof is wood the entire thing is aluminum framed meaning even the roof is framed in aluminum and they go even a step further on these flag stuff so if you look under here even underneath your bed it's aluminum framed so everything you walk on sleep on or stand on is going to be aluminum framed on a flag staff so they go above and beyond on these trailers they uh, definitely don't cut corners this is probably one of my favorite brands. It is gonna be my favorite brand on the lot that we're gonna be carrying. There's the connection to where you put that hose. Got hot, cold water. You got outdoor speakers. We do need to clean it still. It just, uh, they get shipped from Indiana. So we still need to clean this thing. It just got here. As you can see, it also comes with the upgraded awning, so it does have the cover, which is great for here in New Mexico. Uh, the heat and all that definitely does put a little bit of wear on the awning. So this is going to be where your auto level is. So you'll come right here, just push one button, and it'll level itself, which is awesome. Usually they only come with stabilizers on these tow behinds, but this one they're going to have the auto level. It does have a grill that hooks on right here, a uh, little flat top grill that you can cook on outside, and then it has the propane connection right there that it'll go into. As you can see, on a Flagstaff, it actually has frameless windows, which is huge. You don't have to worry about cracking and things like that on your standard trailer like you see on uh, all the other ones. These windows are great because you can actually open them if it's raining, so they open this way. Uh, you don't have to worry if you go on a hike or something and you forget a window open and it starts raining. You don't need to worry about uh, anything happening with water getting in and damaging anything. Alright guys, so that's kind of the outside of it. One thing I want to point out is the suspension on this trailer. It's actually an independent suspension Torflex axle, so each axle moves independently. This is gonna put a lot less stress on your trailer when you're going down the road. Um, the frame is aluminum framed, so all of those little details that Flagstaff is uh, paying attention to is gonna help the trailer in the long run. It also does come with Goodyear tires instead of the Chinese tires. And also, it actually has the TST monitoring system, so it's not just the valve. It's actually a thing, like a little um, wrap around the rim, and it will, it'll alert whenever you're about to have a blowout. So it'll, uh, it'll keep track of your temperature of your tire. So if it's getting too hot, it'll alert you on a little GPS monitor that you get in your car. And then also if your tire's getting low, it'll alert you for that too. So between the suspension, the tires, and then the tire monitoring system, you can drive down the road comfortably knowing that uh, you're gonna be able to prevent 
unforeseen things. Let's take a look inside. I'll show you what else is cool about the classic. Super nice trailer, look at this. So, another thing on the classics is that the ceiling to floor is actually 83 inches. So it's a much higher ceiling than your standard trailer. Really nice recliners right there. Theater seating. This will fold out into a bed, so you could sleep two more people right there, no problem. Nice cabinets. The cabinets are all real wood. It's not paper wrapped. So this is super good quality. They're solid. Solid countertops. Nice stainless steel seek, seamless. That's nice. This model is really cool because it actually has opposing slides. And what that means is that there's a slide on both sides. That's what's creating all this space. A lot of people love the opposing slide idea. Uh, once you get to your campsite and you open it, you just got tons of room with the fireplace it is electric which is nice so if you go to a koa or anything you can use their power and not waste your propane it'll heat this area up nicely standalone table that's nice so you don't have to mess with the poles and it does collapse down into a bed and like I said, everything is aluminum framed in this thing. So even this chair is aluminum framed. So watch, I'll take it apart and show you uh, what I'm talking about. So these are the little details that I'm telling you that Flagstaff uh, doesn't miss out on. This, usually on your trailers, these will be wood framed. And you really gotta think about uh, how often you plop yourself down or you're going to reach for the curtain, you put your knee there and you come to pull the shades. That's gonna be happening constantly all day when you're using the coach. On a normal trailer uh, that's wood framed or anything like that, you go to put your knee down and you crack it and you break the, the, the seat. Now you can't sit there for the rest of the camping trip. So this is all aluminum framed. Anywhere you sit, so everything is super durable. It's meant to last. All right, let me put that back up. All right, so this does have, look, I'm already doing it. This has the day and night shades. You got nights, obviously. Then you got day shades. Super nice rolling shades. Nice island with tons of cabinet space and drawers. This is equipped with solar already on the roof and a thousand watt inverter. So it'll keep your batteries trickle charged. And another cool thing is they always give you a couple power plugs that will actually run off of the inverter and the solar. So if you're out camping and you don't have a generator, you're not plugged in, these two plugs on the ends of this couch will actually work, as well as your TV. So they are equipping these with the 12 volt TV, so that will also run off the solar. They come with a full size oven, good size. Nice burner, three top burner. Little knife holder, microwave. So we'll just do a quick little pan of the, the living area. Let's shut this door.
Let's go take a look at the bathroom now. These higher ceilings are nice. It almost gives you that uh, fifth wheel sense. You know, the higher ceilings. All right, so here's your bathroom. Pretty standard. They are coming all with porcelain toilets. That's nice, stays a lot cleaner. Stainless steel sink. So there is one cool feature in all of these points in the shower. So it actually has a shower miser. And the cool thing about this, so it's mainly for people that are obviously dry camping. What it is, is when you're going and getting in the shower and you have your hand out waiting for all that hot water, or waiting for it to get hot, what you're doing is you're wasting all of that fresh water. What this allows you to do is you'll actually turn this, then turn your water on, and what you do is you wait until this little thing turns red, and as soon as it turns red, then you know it's hot. And then you turn this down, and then you let the water out. This will help a lot with conserving water if you're out dry camping and things like that. Uh, water goes quick, so that is a super nice feature. Another thing that they're doing in all of these is the max air vent. So when you get in the trailer and they, uh, they put the fan in, in some of these trailers, they're super small. Look how huge that blade is. Really nice, and it actually has a rain cover on it, so if you leave it open or forget to close it uh, when you're on your way home, it, uh, you don't need to worry, it has the cover over it so the water won't get in. And you actually get two of those. Usually they only put one in a trailer, if they do even put one. So, that's the bathroom. Really nice. Got tons of room. Because the ceilings are so high, you're not gonna be hitting your head when you're in the shower because they always have that little lip, that step. So the higher ceilings helps a lot with that. All right, let's go take a look at the bedroom. Oh man, this is nice. All the LED lights. So this is a slide right here. So it actually has a slide where the bed is, which gives you tons of walking space. And it also gives you a king size bed. And then also you get storage underneath like I said everything's all aluminum framed nice treated wood it's not particle board you could see the quality in it for sure compared to the other competitors this might make a little slam noise I like this layout because it gives you a, a nice wardrobe for all your clothes. It's deep and it is prep for washer and dryer. Really nice. You got this nice windshield, lets in a lot of natural light, and then you got windows on both sides. So you can open those up and get a nice cross breeze. Ooh, they even give you a shoulder right here, a little privacy. And they give you lots of USB ports all over this thing. And now that I'm looking at it, that's really nice. So they actually give you one of those plugs that'll run off the inverter right on your little nightstand here so you could charge your phone. That's great. So it looks like you have a plug that'll work everywhere you're gonna be sitting. See like this one, it's not gonna work just because it's not on connected to the inverter, but those ones will. You do get two ACs in this thing and they actually all close. These close up if you want. Let's see if I can get it, there you go. So in some trailers, all you could do is turn it. You can't actually close it, which is kind of, it's kind of frustrating because if you think about it and you're in bed and you have your AC going, wouldn't you want to close these and bring all of that air to the front where the bedroom is? Instead of wasting it all going that way, you can cool this room out, cool this room down a lot just because you could close those. And most of the competitors do not do that. So that's nice. So two ACs. 
Let's do a nice pan of their bedroom real quick. So the flagstaffs, all of them, it doesn't matter what level of flagstaff you get, they're actually gonna be all four season trailers. So what that means is that you can use it in the winter time, your tanks aren't gonna freeze in or anything like that. But what's cool about Flagstaff is, is it actually has 12 volt tank heaters. A lot of our competitors, um, they just do ducted heating. So basically what that is, is when you're out and it's cold, it hits freezing temps, you need to keep that heater running the whole time. And I mean, that's great, it'll work, uh, but what happens when you're out camp or hiking or skiing or something and uh, you have to keep your heater running the whole day, that way your tanks don't freeze. So if that's the case, you're gonna be wasting propane constantly trying to keep, your, keep from your tanks freezing. On these trailers, because it has 12 volt heating pads, all you do is you come over here and you just click this button. And what's gonna happen is the tank heaters will automatically go on at freezing temps and off at freezing temps. And all you have to do is push that button and because it has solar, it's gonna constantly keep your batteries recharged. It's gonna trickle charge them. So you're not having to sit there and waste propane while you're out hiking or skiing or something and worrying about your tanks freezing. They'll go on automatically and go off automatically and they run off the solar, which is gonna help save and conserve your propane for when you do get home and you wanna run your heater. So that's huge. That's a huge difference from our competitors is that we actually have the tank heaters. You also have, um, looks like you can control everything Bluetooth from your phone, your awning, lights, slides, all those things. So that's great, that's an awesome feature. And then this is just your solar panel, it kind of shows you the readings and what you're pulling from it. So yeah, that's kind of all of your, that's like your station where you can control everything on your trailer. Yeah, so that's kind of a quick rundown of this new Flagstaff we just got on the lot, super great layout. It is 36 feet, 9,100 pounds, two ACs, solar. I mean, it has everything you'd possibly need in a trailer, not just features, but quality wise, they do not skip anything on this. They, uh, they go the extra mile by alumin aluminum framing the beds, the dinettes, the roof, the sidewalls, the front wall, the back wall, everything. And you can see the little detail in these cabinets, all wood hidden hinges. So it's those little things that you need to look for when you're buying a trailer. Um, you don't notice these things until you're actually out using the trailer and then you get to use it for a year and you realize, dang, I guess I should have spent a little bit more for the quality and over the long haul, it's gonna save you a lot more money on uh, maintenance costs or anything like that, you know, taking it in for warranty work. Also your time, you know, it could be stuck at a service shop for a long time, summer hits, you can't even use your trailer. Um, and, and all you had to do was just spend maybe a little bit more and pay attention to those little details of, with, with the quality of the construction. And um, I think you'll be a lot happier uh, with your purchase and the overall experience. Awesome guys, so that is a breakdown of the 8321 RKL. Uh, I love Flagstaff, it is definitely one of my favorite brands because of the construction and just the small details that they put into these things. So as we get them in, we're gonna, I'm gonna be posting more. So um, if you like the video, like and subscribe. I'm gonna be trying to post a lot more as we get these in. I appreciate you guys. Thanks, bye.